welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to sell crypto on qcoin p2p and withdraw to bank let's begin now the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in qcoin click on the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go now, selling cryptocurrency on Qcoin peer-to-peer -peer and withdrawing the proceeds to your bank account involves a straightforward process, okay? Because Qcoin offers a secure environment for conducting crypto to fiat transactions, and the platform uses escrow services to ensure that both parties fulfill their obligations before completing the trade, okay? And obviously, KuCoin allows you to choose from various buy offers with different exchange rates. And this flexibility enables you to select the most favorable, favorable rate that maximizes the value of your crypto when converted to fiat. So, all I have to do is go here at the uh, buy crypto option and click on the P2P. As you can see, this is where we can bank transfer and plus 20 options. Click on it. And from here, you will be directed to a new page. Just wait for it to load. And from here, you will receive a stay alert notification that QCon will only contact you through official emails, platforms, or the appeals system for informational purposes. All right. Now, all you have to do first is this is very important. You need to click on the sell option. And from here, you need to choose the currency that you wanted to sell. And what I'm going to choose is going to be the USDT. Or you can also use Bitcoin if you wanted. But for now, I'm going to use USDT. All right. And you need to enter an amount. But obviously, you need to choose the currency that you wanted. Say I'm using USD dollars. You can use a lot. You can choose anything from here. CAD, BRL, BDT, Euro, British Pound, and a lot more. But for now, let's stick with the USD. Say, for example, I'm going to enter an amount from 20. You can put uh, 50, 100, and a lot more. But for now, I'm going to put 100. When you enter the uh, USD or the currency, you need to also choose uh, the payment methods, which here, there's like an all of course, that's going to be bank. There's Perfect Money, Skrill, Zelle, Web Money, Revolut, Apple Pay, and a lot more. But for now, I'm going to choose the uh, Payoneer. Okay. I'm going to hit Confirm. And as you can see, these are the trading platforms. You have the USDT traders, Russian exchange, gold, silver, and Bitcoin, and the fast P2P exchange. These are the pricing for the USDT. So it's up to you of which platform you want to have a trading. All right. Say, for example, I'm going to use the fast P2P exchange. And these are the uh, methods that you can do with that. All right. Of course, I am using Payoneer. All I have to do from here is select the fiat payment method. Of course, you need to, uh, by this time, it's important to link your phone number and set a trading password. But for now, I'm going to use the configure. Now, I'm going to head over to my Payoneer account because I need to withdraw and transfer the amount that I got from Qcoin and obviously withdraw it to my bank. And from here, of course, this is a different steps because I'm using Payoneer if you have a different platforms. Okay, so you can always head over to your KuCoin and just um, click on the option to bank. It's a very straightforward process. And if you say, for example, um, use the bank, just go here and transfer it. But otherwise, if you're using the PayPal like me, it's the same process. The uh, idea is the same. Okay. Now, once I have into my bank, as you can see, I don't have any balances yet. But if the transfer was successful from Qcoin to your payner, you would be able to see the balances here because you transferred from USDT and you selected the USD currencies. And from here, all I have to do is click on the uh, this one and you would be directed to this page. If you have 
a bank connected to your Payoneer account, say for example, you're using HSBC, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and a lot more, you would be able to send a payment request in USDT or you can direct a transfer from here. It's a very straightforward process and I believe that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you again in the next video.